we want to be real in this video. We're going to talk about hate. We're going to talk about 11 things we hate. <laughs> hate. Hate about That's Orange very County. Strong, strong word. It's clickbait, clickbait, right? <laughs> like, you want to you wanna get people to click. <laughs> So let's start out real quick with number 11. We're doing 11 here because I love the number 11, 11, 11. Well, anyways. <laughs> 11's lucky unless it's 8. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That is true. So number 11 on this list, HOA dues. I mean, a lot of Orange County has HOAs. I don't know where you're coming from, but you know, if you're coming from the East Coast, say, the concept of an HOA, I think, or even like a master plan community for people who grew up in on the East Coast or even places like Chicago, like they don't really get it. Yeah. And a lot of people don't like HOAs. So explain why somebody wouldn't. Oh, like some it. people, yeah, they absolutely hate HOAs. So one, okay, you have these extra dues that you have to pay per month, you know, and depending, obviously if it's a condo, you understand that, but yeah. even these housing developments, you know, right, they, they actually can have HOA dues, especially the newer stuff, and people hate them. I mean, they're just like, okay, I have to pay extra dues. And also there's this level of oversight that's above me. So not only do you have, you know, like let's say you want to do something to your house, you know, something of significance, then you obviously have your, you know, you understand you have your city planning and then that kind of stuff. But then you also have HOA. You might have to get that clear with your HOA. Yeah. And people go, wait, I don't want, you know, this is a house. I don't want to do that. And actually, in fact, I remember this reminds me of a story of we had a property in Hawaii that was in an HOA and we painted the house a certain color. And the HOA was starting to find us because like those aren't the, the those aren't the approved paint colors that, of the HOA. So we had to yeah. deal with that and get the property repainted ultimately. It was like thousands of dollars of issues. But basically, again, some people, like, again, HOAs really in, can be extremely annoying. And if you're wanting to avoid HOAs or just kind of find out the differences between HOAs, reach out to us so we can kind of help you kind of figure that out. Before we continue, let's introduce ourselves. My name is Courtney Dezod. And I'm Sean Dezod. And we are licensed realtors here in the state of California. Yeah, and if you're watching this channel, you might be thinking about moving to California, but you don't know, you're like, you might be going, Sean, I don't know the first thing to do. I'm not in the area. I may be out of state. I may be even out of the country. So I don't know the first thing to do, and it's really freaking me out. And I totally get that. That's why you want to call us and so we can have that conversation to find that perfect property for you. And we can be your boots on the ground. We can do virtual tours really give you a feel of not only the house, but the neighborhood as well, so you feel confident. And obviously, you know, it's best when you come out here, so we could, you know, we can coordinate all that stuff. Yeah, remember that number right there, that is a cell phone, so you can call or text it. I know people hate talking on the phone, including myself. So if you want to text, totally fine. Number 10 on this uh, list. This is the worst. <laughs> The Tesla superchargers here, they're always full, so. Uh, yeah, if you're, yeah, it's crazy. Like, you know, like, actually, Tesla has a ton of superchargers here, but there are so many Teslas in Orange County. It's crazy. It's yeah. like the new Toyota of Orange County. I mean, mm -hmm. there's so many of them. And inevitably, as many superchargers Tesla do have out here, mm -hmm. There's so many of them are full. And yeah. so you're like, okay, now I'm going to have to wait, or I have to, like, maybe route to a different supercharger that's not as busy. But, you know, like, when you hear stories about around the country, people go, oh, enough. No one, like, those superchargers are never full. Like, maybe yeah. there's one or two cars. I think it seems like it's always full here. That's true. I mean, I would say, so, I mean, my sister lives in Texas. I mean, there's a lot of, like, Teslas in Texas, too. But, I mean, you don't, it's nothing like you see in Orange <laughs> <No>. County. <laughs> yeah, you'll see an intersection, like... The Every front car, line of yeah. like like three you know, three lane road, mm -hmm. two of those three will be Teslas. It's it's insane for sure. Number nine, and now this is something I particularly yeah. I'm, I'm not I'm not feeling this one, but yeah. all right. I hate the crowds, the tourists, right? That come, you know, mm. Newport Beach. <laughs> I felt comfortable with the crowds. Sean loves crowds. He just is like, mm, I love crowds. <laughs> yeah. Keep them. Mm. <laughs> I know. I hate it. Like, I don't want to, like, I refuse to go to Newport Beach and or, or Laguna Beach in the summer unless we're, we're, unless we're meeting somebody there and I can park at their house. Like, <laughs> I am not doing it. I hate the crowds. I hate, like, the touristy spots. Um, but that's me, right? I mean. Yeah, and, and again, it's not like uh, Orange County is like, uh, it's not like New York City, right? It's not like, you know, you're in Manhattan and like talk about crowds. Those are, those are, that's insane. Orange County, you'll have, certainly have these pockets, particularly again, oh, in the summer yeah, months yeah. where it does get pretty crazy, no no question. Yeah. It doesn't bother me, though. Uh, well, and the residential areas, I mean, they're just like residential, yeah. Yeah, right? They're not yeah. like super crowded with tourists. No. I'm, I'm more just talking about like tourists. Like, that's the reason the why. The tourist traps. Yeah, that's the reason why we still have not taken our kids to Disneyland. Like, our <laughs> daughter just turned nine, and we still, because I'm like, I do not want to go to the crowds. Like, I absolutely oh, hate it. I just checked our stats. Um, <laughs> we lost half our subscribers for that. <laughs> So number eight on this list, I really hate when people here complain about the weather. Like that is like the biggest source of like conversation is why the weather today is not perfect. And now uh, you realize you're looking at the in the mirror, right? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many times I've heard you complain that the weather's like one or two degrees off? That is I mean, true. 
I'm like, ugh, I have to like, I have to have like a sweater half on, half off, so I'm really irritated right now. Yeah, that, I, mean, I mean, you're certainly not the only one. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is a thing. The weather is so good here yeah. that if it's off by just one or two degrees, honestly, like you're, you're just going, oh my God. It's so hot, or yeah. I'm kind of cold. I don't really know what to do. And I don't like it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I would say, like, a lot of the comments that we get from locals is, like, has to do with weather. But, like, you said that the weather here is perfect. But, you know what? There was that weekend last summer where it was really humid and really hot for, like, three days. So Yeah, or we'll get mm -hmm. other comments from people saying, oh, the weather here in Michigan Hill is, you know, is great. It's, it's so good. I'm like... You are Californian, right? You do realize that we are wimps and coastal weather, you cannot compete with anywhere in the world. And mm -hmm. so even five, ten miles out, mm -hmm. that's a dramatically different experience when you're talking oh, about yeah. perfection. Mm -hmm. For sure. Number seven is I hate how the Orange County population, and this goes for all of Southern California, they cannot deal with rain. Like no. everything is canceled, tons of car accidents. <laughs> People don't show up to his open houses. Yeah, it, it's amazing. I'm like, I'm actually shocked when I see other. Like, actually, we were in England, right? So, and it's it's drizzling. Oh, pouring. Eleven like, months out of the year. Yeah. Like it's it's just it's always wet. It's just wet. Yeah, this country is made of water. That's <laughs> what someone said to us. Yeah. And I'm going. How do they even build buildings? Because I mean, in Orange County. Yeah. Like things stop. It's done. You're not oh, doing yeah. anything. I mean, in fact. Famously, SoFi Stadium, the mo like most expensive stadium basically in the world, was delayed a year because of a rainstorm. I mean, yeah. this is I mean, this is, in, this is in LA County, but yeah. same like, weather, this is same weather, mm -hmm. same issues. Like we're Cal Southern California is just not prepared for mm -hmm. water coming from the sky. It's just a phenomenon for sure. that you just we just don't have to deal with car accidents galore. In fact, we got in a car accident because, again, unfortunately, when when you have that first rain, just so you know, a little little tip here is that the roads get slick because all the oils kind of pool up and they kind of soak into the asphalt. Well, when that first rain happens, it bubbles up. So that, mm -hmm. that asphalt's actually pretty slick. So that first rainstorm is really dicey as far as yeah. you know getting a good grip on the road with your tires. So yeah. just be aware that tra <laughs> traffic accidents definitely happen in mass mm -hmm. during, the, during rainstorms. Well, yeah, so I'm a lifelong Californian, so I've had two accidents purely based on the rain, so yeah, yeah that's just... Oh, the first one was her fault, though. No, I hydroplaned. <laughs> Your fault. <laughs> <laughs> so number six on this list, uh, this is something that is so irritating, and if you've ever lived here, like, you know this. So let's say you're driving down the freeway and you want to merge into the next lane. Yes. You cannot turn your blinker on. As soon as you turn your blinker on, whoop, that somebody car will go, is moving yeah, up. Move up, move up. Like if you're gonna turn lanes, you have to do it secretly. It's like, very abrupt. Yeah, you have to just be like, go, go, go. Okay, now I have space. Go. Yeah, you're almost like doing a fake out with that car mm -hmm. that's kind of behind you. Yeah. Like so, there's the one lane over that you want to get into, yeah. but behind you, again, comfortably ball behind you. Yeah, yeah. That blinker, that blinker oh, goes on. Speed up. They'll speed up, so they'll take your yeah. spot. Yeah. So you gotta be like, kind of like almost like feel like you're going right and then go left real quick and like so they can't see it coming. Because if they do, yeah. it's all over. Well, that's probably why so many accidents happen in the rain, <laughs> right? People are like swerving <laughs> to get into another lane. Yeah, you're, like, like, you're doing like, it's almost like basketball. You're doing a no look pass. You're like, yeah. oh, I'm not going to go there. Oh, yeah, I'm going there. <laughs> Number five on this list, I would say that uh, it's not a very neighborly place, right? Like, you don't know your neighbors here. Uh, we don't know our neighbors. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't talk to my neighbors. I never would. Yeah, the like, occasional wave. <laughs> I think it's something beyond that. You're almost uncomfortable. Yeah, you have bit. anxiety. Like, <laughs> you're like, no, why are you talking to me? This is like, my home. I, yeah. don't, I, just, I don't want anyone talking to me around my home. But that's a, that's a California <laughs> phenomenon. So we actually have a friend. They're a real estate agent in Idaho, and he was saying like. All the Californians are having to adjust to the fact that you have to talk to your neighbors. And he's like, yeah, all these Californians, they go in their house and then they close their door because they're just not used to being neighborly. Yeah, so it's just one of those things that just be aware. No, it's not you. Like, let's say if you're coming out here yeah. and people aren't particularly neighborly. It's not a you problem. It's a California problem. That's yeah. just what it's the what culture. We do here. It's the culture. Like that's how you grow. I grew up not knowing the neighbors. Yes, like, you just that's the culture. That's just what it is. I mean, it's it's really not Swiss level. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> so far, of our honeymoon went to Switzerland, and yeah. I've never seen anything quite like the cold culture that I yeah. felt there. Like yeah. it was insane. It was, and I wouldn't even call it xenophobia, right? It was yeah. just because this is amongst themselves. So one, people won't make eye contact with you at all ever, right? Yeah. So that they'll look, look away like, you know, you're trying to make eye contact. Not, not going to happen. <laughs> Second, literally I saw two people walking through the train station 
walking pretty briskly yeah. in opposite directions. A good third of their bodies collided. I'm surprised that neither of them fell down. They just kept going. Yeah, they, 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 there was no sorry, are you okay? Me, yeah. No, yeah, no excuse me. Just gone. So yeah. we're not quite that level. Yeah. But we're not that far off that level yet. <laughs> <laughs> Number four on this list is high state income taxes. But yeah, we have like it's just it burns me to like write that check and write and you know pay those state income taxes. Yeah, not fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's it's one of the highest in the country. So the cost to live here is this high state income tax. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. I mean, but yeah, like we're kind of up there with the New York, New Jersey's of the world as far as like state income taxes are concerned. Yeah. Number three on this list is traffic. I, well, for me, because like we have a job where we don't have to do like necessarily the nine to five, like yeah. we can work around it a lot of the times. Like, you know, sometimes we might have an appointment or something, we have to deal with the traffic. So for me, it's not something that I necessarily notice that much. It's more like anyone, and, and it gets worse as you go like north. north. Yeah. The closer you get to the LA, the worse traffic it is. Like, I feel like we tend to be more like central Orange County. Central South. Central South. So, like, that's, I feel like we always stop, like, right when the traffic gets, like, super bad. Yeah. So, for us, it's not something we necessarily notice that much, but yeah. it can be, like, if you have a nine to five or you have to be somewhere, it can be a nightmare. Yeah. And it can be, again, it can be pretty bad. Now, having said that, Graded on a scale, we're actually good for Southern California. Just that's how bad Southern California traffic is. However, it's not good. I mean, it's actually very irritating. There are side side streets, like alternate routes you can take. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, if you're in Huntington Beach, rather than going to the 405 freeway, I know this is kind of going above the heads of some of these people, but mm -hmm. you probably take, let's say, Pacific Coast Highway and like, go into Long Beach. There's mm -hmm. ways to kind of work around it, yeah. but still, it's traffic. I mean, it's it's there. It's real. It's funny because like, we go to different areas and think, oh, the traffic's so bad. I'm going, this is a dream. Yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> do you know where we're from? Yeah. Like, Hey, so, yeah, so again, it is what it is. Yeah. And then just as a little plus one to that, uh, we obviously don't have mass transit. I'm obviously, you know, <laughs> like we, none. <laughs> yeah, we get questions, especially from people that are coming out of the country because a lot of places around the, around the world have good mass transit. Like the West Coast of the United States. Bad. Bad. We do not have mass transit. Like, that's just. Yeah, we were developed by the time cars were here. Yeah. So. The road, the cars are king. So mm -hmm. railroads, again, they are there. I wouldn't say that I would depend I mean, on them. <laughs> I've been on the train probably like five times. A yeah, because one, it doesn't. Yeah. One, it's just not necessarily the most dependable. But two, also, it doesn't really. It doesn't go anywhere. Go for, yeah, like it sort of doesn't go in all the different pockets, right? And then two, the bus system. That's just like it's just going to take a long time. I mean, it's just oh, like yeah. you know. So I guess it's possible, but we don't have any subways or anything like that. You know, so we have MetroLink, which again is kind of more attached to the rail system. Again, not the most robust system that's out there. So, and then obviously even riding your bike. Like people ask, like, well, can I just go off bike? Things here are spread out. So, yeah. actually, this reminds me of when my dad actually moved out here from, like, my dad moved from Iran here. And basically there, like, you know, again, there he was part of a big city and things were kind of clustered together. And he wanted to buy a, a car. And his, my, my grandfather was going, oh, you're just trying to buy a car to show off to girls. And he's like, no, you don't understand. <laughs> United States, yeah. Cars, you cannot get around without yeah. a car. Like his, his father did not get that yeah. until he got here. And he's like, oh wow, the things are really spread out. So just be aware. Having a bike is nice, but that is to have that be your primary mode of transportation is going to be really, really tough. Mm -hmm. So number two on this list is I will say that living in Orange County makes you soft because it is so convenient and the weather here is the best in the world. So you go anywhere else in the world and you're just a wuss because you're like, you're having to deal with the elements. This is not something that you normally think of like on a day-to-day -day basis when you're in Orange County or all of Southern California. Like I'm talking San Diego on up to like Santa Barbara. Like people who live here, they just, they don't think about, oh, you know, it's gonna get canceled because of like a rainstorm or a snowstorm or a hurricane. Like it just, we just, every day is pretty much the same. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, it's funny. It's like, I thought it was tough when it came to cold weather. Yeah, we went to Santa. And we went to Santa. Mm -hmm. And so what's weird is that, like, I th again, I thought I was relatively tough when it came to cold weather. I was not prepared for how cold no. that was. And I know to anyone else, yeah. they would laugh in our faces. Mm -hmm. However, to us, it was suffering. Like, it was. It was it was, it just was honestly not... the worst trip that I've had in my life. Yes, and, yeah. and so just it was just one of those things where again, California just 
buttered us up to get slaughtered by the San, San Antonio Freeze. And so it's yeah. just one of the things to just be ready that you are going to become a wimp. That's just what it is. And as far as the convenience factor, it seems like wherever there should be a park, there's a park. Where there should be a store, there should be a store. Where there should be a gas station, there should be a gas station. Tesla superchargers, not everywhere they should be, but hopefully soon. Mm -hmm. But like at the same time, things are kind of just very convenient. And just mm -hmm. be aware that you're just kind of like, you know, so when you go to these other places that don't have these natural conveniences, yeah. you just have no tolerance for it. You just don't, don't even know what to do with it. Yeah, I think that's why they call it the orange bubble, right? Because everything is so convenient. Everything is within reach. And so you, people tend to not leave because they're like, why? Everything that I need is <laughs> 10 minutes away. Oh my gosh. Like, yeah, to go, out, to even go to Los Angeles County, no. again, not that far away. No. It's just that, why? <laughs> no. You know, why? And yeah. it, would be, it would just very infrequent. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. So number one on our list, the thing that we hate about Orange County, and that's the high prices, right? I mean, I can't tell you how many times, so I've been working with Sean in real estate for nine years now. Like, I can't tell you how many clients I've seen that have come to him that are like, I want to buy a house. They got priced out. Because yeah. They waited. Like, it, it, even though, you know, there's ups and downs, ups and downs, like, generally, it just keeps going up, go, going up. And yeah. it's like, it's sad because they, they end up having to, to leave, right? Yeah, exactly. People are just like, you know, you think to, to, to like take your time, be methodical about it is a good thing. It's typically a good attribute when buying a car or whatever. When it comes to real estate in Orange County, because those prices keep going up, mm -hmm. it's just one of the things where if you're intending to buy, just be on the lookout pretty, you know, just be with a lot of intent to actually get something because, you know, before you know it, your budget, it may, you know, it may be blown out, of, blown out of the water. So that's just one yeah. of those things just to be aware of. And even like, you know, we get calls from people that are moving from out of like out of state or out of the country even. And un understandably, they want to, let's say, rent initially and like rent for that first year. And I totally get it because, you know, to go to a place, you know, new area, sight unseen, I totally understand that. Now, having said that, we do have like, you know, virtual tours and stuff that we do to give you an idea of what's a good idea of what's going on. But still, I totally understand nothing comp like compares with you being here yourself. Having said that, I would say if you're thinking about moving here with the intent to buy in sometime in the future, get something of a short term rental like you know, or a rental that you could break the lease on where you can kind of get an idea of the lay of the land. Because honestly, Orange County is not a tough nut to crack. You can get a good feel on within a few weeks, to honestly, a couple months of what areas are really resonating with you. And then from there, you know, we could be very like, you know, just go really aggressively about finding that perfect property for you. Yeah, I think the thing is, is that you can only go on the present moment, right? You know, you can only go, can you afford this at the moment? Is it a place that you want? If so, then jump on it because, you know, people, you know, you may be listening to people that are saying, oh, you know, pricing and go, pricing and go down. Well, you know, they could be right, but they could be wrong. And if they're wrong and prices go up, well, then you missed your opportunity. Yeah, and whenever it's telling you to go above your, you know, like to, to go above your comfort level. So mm -hmm. it's one of those things where it's like, obviously, you want to make sure that you're comfortable with whatever yeah. that payment, that pr home price is. But at the same time, once you've found something, again, just think long and hard about whether or not you want to just kind of move sooner than later. Because again, I would just hate for you to, I mean, I've had people reach out, you know, like we've had reach outs for years now, and less like like year, year and a half. Uh, and a lot of people that initially reached out, they're just completely priced out. Mm -hmm. And remember, we are licensed realtors here in the state of California. So as much as we love making these videos, what we love more is to help you with your real estate needs. Whether you're looking to buy or sell a home, what you want to do is you want to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Or you can reach out to us via WhatsApp. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back.